had the nerve to up the up the prices more than 111 percent increase do you see this it says average rent for new york city one bedroom apartment Four thousand blood clot dollars, six thousand blood clot dollars. How? A one hundred and eleven percent rent increase out here in the New York area. I live out here in this area in New Jersey, but you know, pretty much the same economic conditions in both places. And the reality is, is that these are the issues that truly drive everyday voters, especially people who aren't as just into keeping up with everyday politics. People who may not particularly show up to the polls all the time independent voters who don't necessarily lean with allegiance to either party who vote more along policy lines. These are the issues that the Democrats truly, truly need to focus on. Minimum wage is $15 an hour. Where are you going to afford a bedroom by yourself for your, 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 you do 15 times 40. That's like $600. Where are you going to get a bedroom? For yourself you have to get you got to share a room and unfortunately they've let many an opportunity pass them by to do something about the economy more than they have instead of passing half measures instead of passing milk toast measures that only inch us just a little bit further so that you know all their corrupt donors can you know stay happy at the end of the day but these are the issues that the Democrats have to focus on going into the midterms in 2022 and 2024, in addition, of course, to codifying Roe v. Wade while they still maintain a majority. I'm team Operation Leave New York City. I'm back for now, but I'm going to leave again. But like, what is there in New York that it has to be like that? I really feel like that's very ridiculous. And the real estate mafia, y'all think y'all slick. Y'all really think y'all slick, crying, oh, no one's renting us. But then you have the nerve to up the, up the prices. More than 111% increase. And as I mentioned, I have personal experience with how much rent is going up here in this part of the country. Uh, in the apartment that I lived in before this current one, uh, my rent was 2000 a month. And as I was leaving, it went up to 2200 a month. And a good friend of mine who lives out here, his rent, uh, when his lease is up on this current lease, his rent will be going up by $400. So this is something that, again, I have personal experience with. And, you know, luckily for my friend and I, you know, neither of us have any children. We're doing, you know, well enough to pay our bills and, you know, get by pretty decently. But, you know, this is a really, really big problem, even for us. But again, even more so for people who, you know, have families to raise, for people who have disabilities. For people who may just live in an economic area where they don't have access to opportunities, because, you know, here out in uh, New Jersey and New York, even though it's very expensive, there's a lot of economic activity happening here. So people who may live in more rural areas or people who live in you know regions of the country where all the activity isn't located, it's harder for them to get on their feet. So these are serious, serious issues that, again, the Democrats have to focus on going into the midterms. First of all, they wonder why Manhattan looking like a ghost town since COVID. Who could afford that? And who are y'all looking for to live in that apartment? I bet you the apartment look like a freaking box. Because the way they doing new new construction and all this other stuff, giving y'all boxes. That is not living. And you can't even get a washer and dryer or with a dishwasher and closet space in your own space right now. Like, why? Why are we doing this? This is ridiculous. And, you know, we talk about the Republican Party all the time and we talk about the Democratic Party all the time here, too. But, you know, even though the GOP are largely the perpetrators of robbing everyday Americans from the little that they have, let's not shift the blame away too much from the Democrats. In a lot of ways, this is a direct result of Democratic negligence, bowing down to corruption, constant capitulation of the GOP, trying to, you know, have that bipartisanship. I mean, we, Joe Manchin, who vote, literally blocked legislation to codify Roe v. Wade. I mean, we're still dealing with this type of conservatism within the Democratic Party. But also, that means that this is our fault, too, because we're the ones who elected these people. We're the ones who showed up to the polls or didn't show up to the polls. We're the ones who gave money or didn't. And more importantly, this is a reflection of what type of you know volunteer work or leadership we have in our communities. Because the further along we get and the more problems that we face, I like to shift more of the blame, obviously with the party that we're more aligned with, but also to ourselves. 
what are we doing about it? You know what I'm saying? Are we making ourselves better people? Are we really fighting as hard as we can? I think that moving forward, these really are the questions that we need to focus on.